Okay, so we're at uh, my mum's house. The path's looking really full of algae, so I'm just going to mix up a big batch of uh, the patio cleaner, which I've got down here. I'm just going to put a full bottle in and put it on neat, because it's only a small area, and get rid of all this algae. Um, not for any particular reason of anybody slipping, because as we know, she passed away. And I should have done this a few weeks ago, but I didn't, because I was on Gola, and I'll live to regret that day forever. So we're going to do it today and get it ready for putting it on the market and make it look better. I laid this nearly five years ago. You'll be surprised how good this turns out. I know it's looking pretty, pretty feeling sorry for itself at the moment, but when I finish with it, it's going to look like it doesn't belong on planet Earth at all. So let's get on with that. Okay, so we're back two weeks and one day. Again, same as the other job that you saw last time. I did them both on the same day in terms of the algae killing. So we're in a really good position here. Time to get the TFR on, stage two. And then power wash. So I'm gonna spray the walls and everything and get this looking really, really spot on. So I'm just about to do my TFR. I'm using the same product. I did the last power washing job, which is the AutoSmart TFR Extra. Just got it down there, ready to go. I'm going to spray the walls and everything, and then we'll get them with the power washing. Again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over it with a brush just to start that agitation process and get it working even better. Right, so that's all nicely formed up and brushed in. Got my power washer set up. Just leaving it on the other side. I've been pretty uh, inventive and put the holes through the letterbox because it's from the kitchen and I can shut the door this way. Let's get to it.
it's just like painting on Indian stone. Okay, so I think you'll agree that's a bit of a triumph. I don't think it'd come up that good to be honest, but uh, it has. So next stop is sealing and that'll be take place in a couple of days. I've got a nice sunny day coming, so I'll get it done then and then it's done for winter and it'll be a great job. My mum will be proud. See you soon. Right, so I've come back to seal. It's dry enough. I've got my Paintmaster 2000 oil-based block paver patio seal got a brush so that's how I'm going to apply it today it's dead easy it's just like painting water on wear gloves because you get it on your hand it's very sticky and it takes forever to come off so I'm just going to crack on before it goes dark
So there we have it, nicely sealed. This Indian stone is uh, Ravina. Like I said, I laid this. I'm so glad I did it in the small flags for the path. It just looks amazing. It looks like a patchwork quilt. Uh, so it's sealed now. That's protected for the winter. Got a nice sheen to it. With it being oil based, you get a lot more luster to it. If it was resin, you'd get this effect straight away, but it would fade after a few days. Uh, so that's why I like to use the oil one. So that's another video done. Don't forget to subscribe. Liking's not that important, but subscribing is. So see you next time.